Hey guys, it's Dr. May. How are you today? Um, we're continuing with Radically Open DBT, and this is uh, the second of three parts for lesson five from the Radically Open DBT manual. Okay, so if you haven't seen the first part of lesson five, I'd suggest to watch that first because um, this kind of builds on that. Okay, so in lesson five, um, we talked about doing some new behaviors, trying new things. So instead of getting stuck in the same old thing, to kind of change it up by doing some new stuff. So we did the acronym flexible mind varies. Okay. And that is all about steps we can take to try something new. Okay. And the E in varies stands for self inquiry. So it's kind of like how we evaluate and look back and reflect upon our experience of doing that new thing. And because there's a lot of questions we could ask ourselves in that self inquiry process, I wanted to make a separate video because otherwise the first one might how to get a little bit long, okay? So this one's gonna focus on the self-inquiry process, okay? So this is called practicing self-inquiry after a new experience, okay? So just a quick review, so what's self-inquiry? So whether you spell it with an E or an I, potato, potato, tomato, tomato, it's basically um, just practicing asking yourself questions to kind of like open your mind and kind of take you to that part of yourself where you're gaining a little bit insight, you're learning something new, you're kind of saying, Hmm, well, that's interesting, right? And you're kind of expanding the way you see something, okay? So it takes you to what they call your edge or your personal unknown, okay? And sometimes even asking an uncomfortable question is, is a useful question because it kind of, you know, gets us to think a little bit more and feel a little bit more, right? And it helps us learn, okay? So the idea is to, you know, just kind of use it as a point of reflection and to not, you know, make it too intense or too long, right? So about five minutes is usually fine. Okay, so today I'm gonna to go over some questions you might consider asking yourself as you reflect upon new experiences that you might have tried, okay? So here we go, ready? Okay, so actually, um, before we get to the questions, I forgot about this slide, so why bother? So why would we wanna do this? Um, because you know, if you did something new, it probably was a risk for you, right? It's a little uncomfortable, you're um, branching out, you're getting into the unknown a little bit, right? And then afterwards you might be feeling all different kinds of things. Like you might feel a little anxious about the fact that you did it. You might be hesitating. You might be thinking, oh geez, I'm not sure if that was good or not good, right? And all kinds of thoughts go through our mind, okay? So um, we can learn about our reactions and gain more openness about the experience um, by doing the self-inquiry process, okay? All right, now, <laughs> now we're getting to the questions. Okay, so the first set of questions is about whether you actually enjoyed the behavior, okay? So you could ask yourself, so to what extent did I find myself enjoying that new experience? And if you weren't, you know, is, are you dismissing or minimizing maybe some positive benefits that you, you did experience, right? So sometimes you know how like one bad thing happens and we kind of perseverate on that, we kind of obsess about it and we forget about some of the positives, right? So is that happening here, right? Am I having a fair view of how it went when I tried this new thing? So the next thing is, um, sometimes we might worry that this new thing I tried wasn't good enough or wasn't quote unquote perfect, right? So am I finding it hard to feel a sense of accomplishment because I didn't perform perfectly? Okay, so all you perfectionists out there, right? So sometimes we get a little caught up on, did I do it right? Was it wrong? Was it good enough, right? Am I secretly expecting myself to be perfect for the new behavior to feel good when I first attempt it? Is that a fair assessment? Right? Is it fair to expect that? If so, what might this tell me about how I'm feeling right now? Right? So if I'm feeling like it wasn't good enough or it wasn't perfect, that might affect my emotions right now. I might be feeling disappointed in myself or ashamed or anxious, right? But you gotta remember, is it really fair to expect yourself to be perfect on the first try or even the 10th try, right? Okay, so related to that, um, sometimes we can be a little hard on ourselves after we try something new, right? We could criticize ourselves, beat ourselves up, you know, kind of, mm, you know, start worrying about how it went, right? So am I being self-critical of my behavior? Is there something important for me to learn about that response? Do I have urges to pout or give up because things didn't go as planned, right? Maybe you were hoping to do better, whatever that means, and it didn't go as well as you thought, right? To what extent am I telling myself that this experience just proves I was right along, all along about this new behavior. See, I should never have tried that, 
<laughs> see how badly it went. I, I, I know I shouldn't have done that, right? Are, you, are we doing some of that? Um, am I using this experience as another opportunity to beat up on myself or to prove to myself or others that I'm worthless or unworthy, right? So we're, are we looking through this dark lens and think, see, it's yet another thing that I shouldn't have tried. I should have just stuck with my routine. It's not even worth it, right? Are we going down that negative spiral here, right? Um, and what might I be doing or thinking that contribute to my personal suffering? Okay. And is it necessary to be this hard on myself? What's the benefits, right? Hmm. Okay. On the flip side, sometimes um, we could feel uncomfortable about a situation based on our perception of how others may have responded to us in that situation, right? So am I being too hard on other people or maybe even misjudging them? right? So do I find myself wanting to automatically blame someone else for what happened when I tried out the new behavior, right? Well, you made me do something that was too hard for me, you, or you, you pressured me too much, and that's why I screwed up, right? Are we doing some of that, maybe? Mm, maybe, I don't know. And what might this tell me about my coping style, and what do I need to learn, okay? So maybe it's revealing that I have a habit of blaming people when I'm uncomfortable. Maybe it's like a habit I, I kind of do sometimes, right? Okay. Um, have I allowed myself sufficient time to practice or try out the new behavior before I evaluated what happened, right? So related to the perfectionism, is it fair to say, like, I'm no good at this if I only tried it once or 10 times, right? Like sometimes things really take a long time to be good at it, right? If you went to your first piano lesson and you weren't so great, what do you expect? It was one, right? Okay, so we got to be fair to ourselves, right? Okay. Aha, uh -huh. am I willing to try it again? So after all that happened, the, the positives, the negatives, and the in-betweens, do I think I'll try it again? All right. So am I more or less inclined to try out this behavior again? Do I secretly fail or attempt to destroy others' expectations, even my own, so I won't be expected to do things differently in the future, right? Did I not really put my full effort in and kind of do badly a little on purpose so I could prove that, like, forget it, I'm not going to keep being uncomfortable in this new kind of experience, right? It's like a secret sabotage going on. Um, and do I harshly blame myself so others will expect less from me? Like, do I go around making a show of, oh yeah, I suck at this. I, I know I'm just new at it. I don't, I don't know anything. I'm not nearly as good as you guys, right? And just like put it out there in a dramatic way so people don't expect much from me, okay? Instead of being honest about how I'm actually experiencing this thing. Okay, good for thought. Um, oh, and that's it. Um, okay, so <laughs> I forgot where we were at the end. But um, obviously you could ask yourself other things as well. But um, it's just designed to get us to reflect a little bit more openly, um, talk about radical openness, right, about a new experience that we tried. Okay, so stay tuned for video three for lesson five, and um, I'll see you then. All right, bye everybody.